Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about shopping cart. So let's see how can we create the shopping cart. For creating the shopping cart, we will use a shopping cart package. So first of all, uh, let's install the shopping cart package. For that, go to the Google and uh, here let's search Hardwin shopping cart package. Okay. And now just click on this first link. Here is the package Hardwin shopping cart. Now let's install. So let's copy the composer command, this composer command for installing this package. So let's copy and now go to the command prompt. And here uh, let's paste the command. Command is composer require Hardwin slash shopping cart. Okay. Now hit enter Okay, package has been installed. Now let's uh, publish the configuration file for the cart. So go to the web page and here from here this package URL. Uh, let's copy uh, this command. Okay, for publishing the configuration. So just copy. Select this and let's copy and go to the command prompt and just paste here hit enter okay configuration has been published now let's run the application one more thing uh, for card uh, let's create a controller here so for creating the new controller just write here the command php artisan make call and controller the space controller name or uh, let's say controller name is cart controller all right now run the application so write your php artisan sir okay now let's open the cart controller so go to the project and just go inside the app directory then http controllers and let's open this one cart controller now here uh, let's create a function so right here public function and function name let's say function name is index and inside this function just uh, return a view uh, let's say view name is card okay now save this file and now let's create a route for this function so go to the web.php file routes web.php and here let's create a new route route colon colon get add the uri card and add here the controller name which is card controller colon colon class and function name which is index now give the route name which is cart dot index okay now save this file now let's create this view so go to the resources directory then views and here let's create a new file cart dot blade dot php okay now here extend the layout so write your extends and directory name layouts dot layout file name which is base and add here the section and section name which is contained and close here the section in section all right now go to the template directory 
here is the template directory now just go inside the cart folder and let's open this one list.html this is the cart template okay now let's open this html file in visual studio code so open with vs code and from this file let's here is the header section menu uh, let's copy from here this section and this section okay these two section let's copy and go to the card.blade.php file and inside this content section just paste here okay now change here the home page URL and just write here route app dot index okay now save this now let's check this page so go to the browser and just go to the URL cart and you can see here the page all right now go to the soft controller and uh, sorry cart controller and here inside this index let's write here let's fetch the content from the cart so for that uh, let's create a variable cart items is equal to cart and also import here the cart so write here use cart okay then cart colon colon instance and add here the instance name which is cart then uh, call method contained okay and now just return this cart items to the cart view so in big bracket just write here cart items arrow dollar cart items okay now save this now go to the cart.blade.php file and here uh, let's list the cart items so first of all uh, before this uh, this row okay before this row let's add here if directive if dollar cart items and let's count the items so call here the count method count if cart item arrow count is greater than if item is greater than zero then uh, display this row otherwise also add here the else part else and now just close this if directive and write here in diff and inside this else part uh, let's display here the default message cart empty message so right here row and inside this row just add here the column empty 12 and add one more class text center and inside this div let's add here is two tag and just display here the message your cart is empty okay and also add here a sub message add items to it now Okay, and also give some uh, margin here so add the class empty 3 okay and now add here the link for the stop page so add the anchor tag href is equal to add here the route for the stop so write here route stop dot index and also add here the class 
btn btn warning and also set the margin top mt dash 5 okay now i have the text stop now all right now uh, inside this before this tr here is the header section okay head section and inside this body uh, let's display the cart item so before this tr let's add here at the date for h then dollar cart items as dollar item and now just cut this for each and uh, paste here just before the t body closing time okay just paste here and now this is the first tr tag and second just remove this one tr okay you only need one tr and now here display the product name so right here the double curly bracket dollar item arrow model arrow name all right and now display here the price so display here the price right here dollar height arrow price and uh, here let's display same thing price so right here dollar item arrow price and now display here the subtotal item subtotal okay so right here dollar item arrow subtotal okay and now inside this uh, input field let's add here the quantity so right here dollar item arrow qty and now for displaying the image uh, let's remove this one and select this add double curly bracket then asset and inside this single quote and just paste here the folder url okay and now display the image so right here dollar item arrow model arrow image okay and inside the alt tag just copy this one and paste here and now let's add here the url so just select this uh, this is the details url okay product details url so select ctrl d and now add here double curly bracket then route add here the route name swap dot product dot details and also pass here the cart so sorry uh, slug so right here slug arrow dollar item arrow model arrow slug okay now after this just, uh, let's display here the total cart total so 
just to display here the subtotal so remove this and add here double curly bracket then uh, just write here card colon colon instance and add here the instance which is card and then call the subtotal method subtotal okay and now let's copy this and paste here for the tax and for the total now change, change here the function and just write here for total total and for the tax write here tax All right you can change the tax percentage from the card configuration uh, configuration file okay so let's see the cards uh, cards uh, configuration file for that go to the config file config directory and from here let's open this one card.php and you can see here the default tax is 21 percent you can change from here so now just close this and uh, inside this card.play.php file uh, everything is done so save this file and now go to the details blade.php file and here uh, let's find the add to card button okay you can see here this is the add to card button okay and inside this form um, just remove this action and here uh, first of all go to the cart controller and let's create a function for storing the cart item so right here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is add to cart and write here request dollar request and inside this just add here cart instance and pass here the instance card and then call the method add and inside this add method just pass here the product id product name quantity and their price okay so right here dollar request arrow id dollar request uh, first of all let's find the product okay so right here product is equal to product column column find and then pass here the product id so write here request arrow id all right now inside this just write here product arrow id and then product arrow name and then uh, pass here the quantity so pass the quantity request arrow quantity and then pass the price so price pass from this uh, product variable okay so right here product arrow regular uh, product uh, first check here okay and just create a variable price is equal to if dollar product arrow sale price okay then just return product arrow 
sale price otherwise just return product arrow to regular price okay and here the question mark this is the totally operator okay if sale price available then return sale price otherwise regular price now just pass this variable inside this okay and also call here associate with product model so add the path here app slash models slash product all right now return uh, redirect back with a message so set the key message and pass here the message success item exclamation sign item has been added successfully okay now save this file and let's create the route for this function so go to the web.php file and here let's create the route column column get add the URI card slash store okay and then add the controller name card controller column column class and then add here the function name which is add to cart function and now give the route name cart dot store okay now save this file and go to the detail details details dot get dot php file and inside this form just add here the action route cart dot store okay method is post and also remove this input hidden field and just add here add the rate csrf this one okay now inside this input hidden field this is the id field so just pass here the product id so right here dollar product arrow id and then just pass here the product arrow name price product arrow price regular uh, price is not needed here and there is no requirement of the name so just remove these two field and just pass here the id and quantity okay and now save this now everything is done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page this time cart is empty and you can see here your cart is empty message okay now if i click on shop now you can see here the shop page now just click on this product all right now click on add to cart and let's check the card so go to the card it's not working
okay here one thing is missing uh, on this anchor tag click let's submit this form so inside this anchor tag just add here on click on click event javascript on click event and here just write event dot prevent default and then uh, just get this form by their id add to cart id okay so right here document dot get element get element by id and pass here the form id which is add to cart and then call the submit method okay on click event dot prevent default then document dot get element by id and give the form id and, and now just click uh, just call the submit method now save this file and let's try one more time so just refresh the page go to the saw and let's click anyone and now add to cart and here post method not supported okay go to the web.php file and uh, just change here the method post okay now save this and refresh page now click on add to cart and this time I think add it so let's check the cart and you can see here the product okay now let's display here the cart count uh, this time you can see here the number of item in cart which is showing zero okay so updating the number of cart uh, in this icon uh, go to the base layout file so just go to the layout directory views layouts and open base.play.php file and let's find, find the cart icon here is the cart icon okay so here before this uh, just remove this zero and add here double curly bracket cart colon colon instance and add here the instance name which is cart and then call the content method content arrow count all right and also add here the url for url for the card so right here route and then car inside the single quote card dot index and let's copy this url and also add inside the menu so this is the card so just remove this and paste here the this route card dot index now save the file and just refresh the page and you can see here the one if i click on this icon you can access this cart page okay now go back to the soft page and uh, here let's add this one click on add to cart item added okay you can see here number of item two if i click on this link you can see here the two item okay and here is the subtotal tax amount and total amount okay and also add here the link for the soft page so go to the cart page cart.play.php file and uh, here continue shopping okay just remove this and inside this href just add here the link uh, 
route swap dot index. Okay, now save this file. Now refresh the page, and if I click on this link, you back to the swap page. Okay. On the details page, you can see here logo is not showing. So let's solve this problem. So go to the best uh, based or blade or PHP file layout file and let's find the logo here is the logo image okay so just select this and uh, copy and add here double curly bracket in asset method and inside this just paste here the logo image URL okay now save this And now refresh the page and here you can see the logo let's add one more item add to cart and here is the three item in cart Alright, so in this way you can create the shopping cart in Laravel 10 e-commerce project. In next video we will see how can we update the product quantity in cart. Alright. So that's all about creating shop, shopping carts. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.